Okay, I wanted to talk about different uh, ways to test uh, Um There's the multimeter uh, that comes with this little plug-in that you can plug transistors in sometimes. Uh, it's right there. And that's good for silicone, but it's not good for germanium transistors. Uh, I also bought this... Uh, little gadget off Amazon and it was seven bucks it's kind of cool it tells you uh, which pinout goes where um, like base emitter collector and uh, it tells you the leakage but like the the gain and the leakage but it's not accurate at all uh, it does tell you if one's higher than the other that's about it but it's very inaccurate the circuit from bear is the most accurate one that I've found and also it's cheap because you make it so it only costs a couple bucks if you have the parts um and i'll post a link uh on the video to the schematic let's see okay this is where i plug in the nine volt power supply or you could use a nine volt battery and the reason why i have another one on top of it is because for pnp you use it one polarity and pn you reverse the polarity um or you can just instead of having it where you plug into this one you can just have a switch reversing the polarity on positive and negative uh these two bars are for the multimeter that's where uh you connect it for your reading there's a switch um when it's this way it's giving you the gain and then you switch it this way and it gives you the um, leakage uh, originally I would plug the uh, transistors into here and I do it one at a time but the heat from my hand would make it so I had to wait about 10 minutes for it to get back to room temperature because the these are very sensitive to temperature just touching it changes the hatrophy so, I found if I put them all on a breadboard, and then I just plug this in, then I'm not even touching the transistor, and then I get my reading, and I go on to the next one. I get my reading, I get the gain, and then the leakage, write it down. Well, after I get that, I go to the next one, um, write it down do the math to find my hatrophy and by that time I get the little sticker on it and everything by that time this one's had a couple minutes to warm up from uh, the power because power going into it will warm it up just a little bit um, and uh, you don't have to wait real long because it I mean you can wait like five minutes for it to study out and stop but it's not worth it because it takes up time and I found the quicker you get this done, the more accurate it is because um, if you do them at different times, then the temperature in your room is going to be different. And that makes a huge difference. Uh, I learned that the hard way. I probably did about 20 one day, and then the next day I was doing more, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to read, get a reading of the one I did the previous day. And it was way off uh, because of the differences in the room temperature. So I'd suggest doing them all at the same time uh, and do it like this. Just go to the next one. Um, don't worry about waiting for the reading to study out because it, it's only a few points. It doesn't make that much of a difference. And then basically what you're going to get is you're going to, when you have a set like this, you'll get the relative uh, hatrophy to the rest of them. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's explore the circuit and uh, see how it's wired. Okay, the collector goes to the meter. Well, that's the meter right there. You can see it goes right to the meter. And um, the base goes to the switch. The other side of the switch goes to the power. And this goes to... If it's PNP, it's negative. If it's NPN, it goes to the positive. Um, and then the emitter goes to, if it's, it goes right to the power. If it's um, 
PNP, it goes to the positive, and if it's NPN, it goes to the negative. All right, and I think that's, oh, I believe this was a one meg resistor. Double check the schematic from Bear. Go to the link, double check everything. Um, yeah, on hindsight, uh, well, this is what I did. I uh, just rolled up some wire, so I stick my little meter, the little bar in there. But on hindsight, it would have been cooler if I uh, made a little wire with an alligator clip on it, so I could just clip it to my meter bars instead. Um, you could, instead of doing two of these plug sockets, you could do a polarity switch if you want. I just happen to have two of these instead of an extra switch. Um, Alright, so... Oh, yes, and this is cool. It was a cool idea. Um, because you have different uh, transistors, and some of the pinouts are different. So when there's a pinout, I just make an adapter. Uh, you know, twist the two wires around. Plug it in. Look at that. Now, now it goes to a different different pinout, right? All right. Uh, I hope this video has helped you guys. And uh, good luck on YouTube.